That was perfect timing. I put the sign up, but maybe you want to. I don't know. I mean, it's we go live in two minutes, so you'd have to run up. <laughs> It'll be about 15 minutes at the. Timing. Ten seconds. Everybody, welcome back to another live stream from East Oak Studio. I'm Michael Klein, and we're excited that you can be here. Uh, this week, we're going to be giving away uh, the Edge Pro Gear Paint Book. So, if you were uh, around last week and you were able to participate, last week we had a very successful uh, video that got over 28,000 views. Uh, Lewis Carr was uh, doing a demonstration and giving away this paint book. So um, we just want to give a big thanks to everybody at Edge Pro Gear uh, for donating the paint book. Um, if you are not familiar with it, here is my paint book. This is not the one that we're going to be giving away. They'll be sending you a brand new one uh, from their location. So we thought it would be fun to do a demonstration of how I uh, treat my panels before we do the giveaway. So at the end of this live stream, We'll be, we'll be announcing the winner. So uh, just thank you for everybody for sharing the video. That helps us so much get the word out about what we're doing here. So today we're going to be preparing uh, a panel that I tend to use most often in my work. I hardly ever work on canvas anymore. And part of the reason is just because of the durability of a panel and also the convenience of being able to stack them in the studio uh, with stretcher bars and canvas and pliers and everything, it just gets to be a little bit uh, tedious for me. So I prefer to do uh, all of my work on panels. It's also important historically to have um, a sturdy substrate so that you're, there's not a lot of flex going on or movement in your paint surface. So the advantage to having the right materials, which is what we're going to be using today is the lead alkyd ground from Rublev. There, it's available at Natural Pigments, uh, naturalpigments.com. The advantage to having the right materials is if you have a sturdy substrate and you have a flexible ground, uh, it, it prevents cracking, and that's what we all want. We want our work to have longevity to it, and we want it to be archival. So uh, the idea is that if you have a, a sturdy support and a flexible ground on top, then that, that prevents cracking. As well as, uh, this is uh, aluminum composite material. It's called ACM panel. Uh, the particular company that I'm using is uh, from Piedmont Plastics and it's called Alupoly. Um, but basically, if you've ever heard people talk about dye bond or uh, there's several names for it, but ACM panel, aluminum composite material. And what it is essentially is it's got uh, two thin sheets of metal uh, sandwiching a durable plastic. And so the reason why I point that out is because another uh, disadvantage to canvas, historically speaking, is that moisture gets in to the back of it and, it, and moisture then also uh, produces cracking. So 
What I'm going to do is show you uh, a tiny version of this panel that I've already prepared. Uh, so this is the, the, the raw ACM panel. It comes with an acrylic ground, so I get it with the white ground, and there's a sealer on it so that uh, it's made for uh, printmaking, screening, uh, screen printing of uh, advertising for billboards, etc. So what I do is I uh, first cut it, so I'm going to cut, show you how to break it. Then I sand it. Then by sanding open that that surface, then that allows me to be able to put the leg ground on. So to get started, we will uh, really quickly, I'm going to put my gloves on because this is uh, lead paint and uh, you can take as much precaution as you want. Uh, if you eventually sand the lead ground, you have to uh, be really careful because it can become airborne and that's when you inhale it and then it's most uh, deadly. So uh, just be careful with how you do this. Um, so here's the finished panel. This is going to be really quick, but usually what I do is I, uh, I clamp uh, something on it to secure it. I have all the measurements figured out exactly how I want to do it. This time, basically, I'm just going to try not to cut my finger on camera, and I'm just going to score it. So you let's see the, um, you want to score it in the same spot and make sure that it's all clamped down so it's sturdy. The reason why I wasn't too concerned about it today is because it's a tiny panel and this, this board is really easy to break so basically I put it on the edge and it just snaps so it's not, it's not a big deal. Uh, depending on what kind of plastic, what, what brand of, of panel you use or what kind of plastic is in the middle, some do not snap, so you have to bend it and, and then rescore it and bend it, and so it can be really annoying. But this snaps really quickly and really easily, and I, I, I prefer that. Uh, there's two different sandpapers, I believe, but it basically, uh, what we're gonna do is just, you see that shimmer of the, it's basically a, a, like a, a spray painted uh, sealant on it to protect the, the acrylic ground. And so I wanna break that open. So I'll quickly sand without talking because you're not gonna probably be able to hear a lot of what I'm saying, so. So this white paint is, that's not toxic, so you don't have to uh, worry about me. ...as well as announcing the winner of the Edge Pro Gear paint book. Uh, so last week we had uh, an opportunity to comment on one of our videos that Lewis made. And uh, for everyone who participated in that, we thank you for doing that. Uh, it's important that you uh, share these videos with your friends, people that you think are gonna be interested. Okay, so to continue on, this is the uh, Rublev lead alkyd ground. I'm gonna open that up. In my batch, I actually added a little bit of uh, safflower oil to the mix because it, the alkyd dries pretty quickly, so it was drying a little bit too quickly. Uh, I don't know if you can see in there, but it separates a little bit. So I'm just going to do a little bit of a stir. Uh, make sure that the paint and the oil are blended nicely. So, okay, the way I do it is, it's super simple. I mean, this is about as, as easy as it can get. It's basically, what I'm looking for is uh, just that there not be a lot of ridges in the surface so that I have kind of an eggshell texture. Uh, and so if you notice, this is just scuffed up. Now the paint is gonna be able to adhere to that. And then I have uh, the fan brushes that I'll eventually knock down the ground. So the bigger the panel, the more you have to worry about the timing of the lead 
the paint drawing, etc. So that becomes a little bit of an issue. But on this tiny panel, it's going to be really, really quite easy. So see how it goes on, and you can see the difference between the the um, acrylic ground and my lead ground. And so if you want to put down paper that you can crumple up and throw away so you don't have uh, the lead paint all over the place, that's uh, definitely a good suggestion. So here you can see where it's thick in parts and so the goal is to just get the whole thing, the whole thing covered. So once I get an even, even layer on it, basically I'm just going to knock down these ridges with the fan brush because it stays pliable for about, I would say, 15 minutes before it starts to tack up. So the hardest part is getting rid of these ridges in the panel. So if you can do with a light touch, you can take the fan brush across it. So I'm removing excess paint on my fan brush and I want that nice soft kind of so it's not clumped up and then I can just go through and kind of almost create a, a texture of canvas. And then basically that's it. That, and that will uh, start to, to fall into position as you let it sit for 24 hours. And within a day you can paint on it. So the beautiful thing about this is that uh, George and the people over at um, Natural Pigments have created a product that doesn't take two weeks to dry. Uh, it literally, you can paint on it the next day. So, uh, a brilliant uh, product that I use all the time. So, that was the demonstration of how to uh, prepare your aluminum composite panel. So now we're going to get into who won the Edge Pro Gear paintbook. Uh, again, for anyone who is just tuning in. We just thank you so much for participating in that giveaway. Uh, it was a lot of fun for us to be able to do. I use my paint book all the time. I think it's a, it's just a, uh, another amazing product that uh, if you didn't get a chance to uh, see the video, check out uh, our, our um, demonstration from last week about this product. So now I'm going to do the Select the winner. And I'm going to move this stuff. So the winner is, I won't look at it. Michael Falkrod. So Michael, you can uh, reach out to us or we'll be emailing you soon and Edge Pro Gear will then get in touch with you and you've won uh, Edge Pro Gear of your choice. They have different finishes that are uh, really beautiful and uh, the side tables. So they'll be sending those as well. So congratulations. And if you want any more information about East Oaks, you can just easily comment info in the section below this video and it will respond to you with uh, all of our products that we have available. We sell DVDs and live streams, etc. Check them all out. I recommend everything. And uh, until next time, thank you.